Yasaski Kalosin Tata to the final episode of Dimitra's Dishes for, for the year 2020. And today we're making Vasilopita, which is the classic New Year's cake. But we're going to jazz it up a little bit and we're going to flavor it with rose, cardamom, and pistachios. It's going to be delicious. It's the cake that has a little coin inside and whoever ends up getting that slice, they're considered to be the lucky one for the final year. We always serve this on New Year's Eve. It's a fun tradition that we have. And you might have seen memes all around the internet of people filling their vasilopita up with coins just so that way 2021 will be better than 2020. It's up to you. I don't recommend it. I wouldn't do it. I'm going to stick to the one, to the traditional one coin in there because it's just for fun. And, um, but, and I have a feeling 2021 will be better for everyone, hopefully. And so um, I hope you're going to make this. I hope you're going to start this tradition with your family if you haven't already. Let's get started making this delicious cake. So these are some shelled salted pistachios that I'm using. They're already roasted. You can use unroasted pistachios and unsalted. I actually recommend unsalted, but the salted will work just fine. That's all I found. As long as they're not flavored with anything else, they will work. Go ahead and grind them in a food processor. You can finely chop them if you want to. And this is what they should look like. You might still have some bigger pieces. That's fine. They should be bright and green and vibrant. We're going to set them aside now and we're going to move on to the next step, which is getting our cardamom seeds ready. Now, cardamom is a very fragrant uh, spice. It comes, uh, cardamoms come in a pod. And if you can find them the way I did with, with the seeds just alone, it'll cut you a lot of um, work in the kitchen of getting them out of their pods. And they're very fragrant seeds, like I said, if you can't find them or if you don't like them, you can substitute ground mastic. We're using a quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom seeds. You can substitute an equal amount of ground mastic known as mastica gum in Greek. Or you can just leave it out and just use the rose water and all the other flavorings that we're going to use. I'm going to grind mine up in my mortar and pestle. Now I have one over here. I bought it because it's really pretty. It's brass, but the top, but it doesn't work that well. So if you want to, you can skip the mortar pestle and just pass them through the food processor until they're finely ground basically. And this is what they should look like. So I'm going to use a stand mixer to make the cake, but you could definitely do this by hand in a big bowl with a hand, with a hand blender. That will work as well. In my mixer, I have confectioner sugar. To that, I'm going to add three sticks of unsalted butter that's really soft and at room temperature. It is key that all of the ingredients are nice and soft, so that way it, the cake is nice and light and fluffy. That is the, key, that is the secret sauce to making a good cake. So we're going to add um, a teaspoon of vanilla to this, a pure vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of rose water. Rose water can be found in a Middle Eastern or Mediterranean specialty food store, as well as online. And I'll put the links on the blog post where you can find this um, delicious flavoring. If you don't have it, you can also substitute um, orange blossom water. That's what I was going to say. Orange blossom water Orange blossom water works really well in this, or you can leave it all out and keep it vanilla flavor. Just put another teaspoon of vanilla in this. We're going to start this off on low speed so that way you don't end up wearing all of that powdered sugar. It's going to fly everywhere if you put it on high. And once the ingredients are combined, we're going to whip it up on high speed for about three to five minutes until the mixture is pale, thick, and really nice and fluffy. You can go in and scrape down the sides of the bowl every now and then so everything incorporates really well. And then we're going to move on to the next step. So next, I have five whole eggs that are at room temperature. You want to make sure that they're at room temperature. If you forgot to take them out, you can put them in a bowl of warm water and just change out the water a few times until they feel uh, room temperature, basically, to the touch. Crack them open and put them all in a bowl. And then while the mixer is running on about low to medium speed, go ahead and drop one egg in there at a time and mix them until all of the eggs are incorporated and until the mixture is nice and fluffy again. Now, if your eggs are slightly cold, the butter mixture is going to start to curdle a little, a little bit. It's okay, don't worry about it if that happens. It's going to be perfectly fine once we're done with this. Once the eggs are incorporated, you're gonna go ahead and add half a cup of plain yogurt. Now you can use Greek yogurt if you want, but I do prefer the consistency of plain yogurt. It is a little bit thinner. So go ahead and add that and whisk it all up until it's nice and fluffy. Next, we're going to add in the dry ingredients. So in a bowl, you're going to want to put all of your all-purpose flour, the baking powder, and a little bit of salt. And to that, we're going to add our ground cardamom and the ground pistachios. And go ahead and just whisk that mixture all together. 
and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add it to the wet mixture in the mixer a little bit at a time. You can add a half a cup of flour, a little, or a, we're not really measuring, just a little bit of flour at a time while the mixer is running on low speed until all of the flour is incorporated. You don't want to over mix. The less you mix this batter once the flour is in, the lighter and fluffier it's going to be. So once everything is incorporated, take it off of the machine and then just with a spatula, whisk everything one more time together or fold it in so that way whatever stuck to the sides and to the bottom of the bowl will incorporate evenly and well. Then over here, I have a 10 inch round baking pan that I've lined with parchment paper. I'm gonna spray it with some baking spray. You don't need baking spray. You can use some melted butter and just brush the whole thing with some melted butter. Basically, we're doing that so the cake does not stick once it's baked. Then you're gonna transfer all of the batter into the pan and you're gonna insert your lucky coin in there. So I like to use a dime and make sure that you wrap it in foil so that way nobody gets sick from the coin. And then you're gonna carefully place it into the cake wherever you want. You just wanna make sure that it goes in somewhere in the center so that way it doesn't peek out while um, it's baking in the oven. Your oven should be preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The cake is gonna go onto the center rack and it's gonna bake for about 45 minutes to 55 minutes or until it's nice and golden and a toothpick that's inserted in the center comes out clean. That's how you know it's ready. And uh, once it is ready, you're gonna wanna run a knife all around the sides of the pan so that way it releases from the pan. Set it aside for a good 30, 40 minutes until it cools completely, and then we're gonna decorate it. A few things about substitutions, because you can substitute flavors to make it a little bit customized to suit your taste or your family's taste. Not everyone likes mastic gum or mastica, not everyone likes cardamom seeds, so you can completely leave those out and instead substitute some more vanilla, vanilla extract. You could even put a half a teaspoon of almond extract that really adds some nice richness. If you do not have pistachios or you can't find them, you can substitute ground blanched almonds. That will work really well. I would use the blanched almonds instead of the, uh, of the regular almonds that have the, uh, the, what is it called, the peel. Just because of the color, it'll be prettier if you leave it, um, if you use the whiter almonds, but it's completely up to you. It's, it's a matter of preference. Substitute your favorite things in here to make it your favorite flavorings. And I'm gonna show you what the cake looks like as soon as it's done baking. So my cake took 55 minutes to bake. At the 45 minute mark, I went in and I checked it with a toothpick and there was still some wet batter. So I let it bake for 10 more minutes. And then when I went to check it again with the toothpick, it was completely cooked. It sh the toothpick should come out clean or with some cooked uh, crumbs, like cake crumbs attached to it. That's how you know it's done. Let it cool completely, then go ahead and invert it onto a cake platter and take off the parchment paper. My parchment paper naturally came off because I had sprayed it with a cooking spray, but sometimes the parchment paper will be attached to the back of the cake. Go ahead and peel that off. Flip the cake carefully back to the right side. And then I like to simply dust lots and lots of confectioner sugar on top. I like to make a nice thick layer. It almost looks like snow and it looks like a traditional vasilopita. But if you want to, you can definitely make a glaze and I will put options on the blog post for those um, flavorings if you wanna use them. And then I just take, I found these 2021 uh, candles at my supermarket. So I'm just gonna put them on top of the cake. You can definitely use a lace doily on top and sprinkle the powdered sugar off of, all over that so you can get a really beautiful pattern on top. You can make this as festive as you want. You can decorate it with some berries or even some nice little bells just to make it more festive. It's up to you. I'll put all of those recommendations on the blog post. But now the best part of making these videos is the taste test and we're gonna bite in. Mm. Get me some coffee. This is so aromatic, it's light, it's fluffy. The butter just adds so much flavor, but you can definitely taste the cardamom in this. The pistachio makes it so nice and delicious. Everything is just perfect about this. I think this flavor combina combination is wonderful. You should give it a try and let me know what you think. I hope you end up getting that lucky coin inside of it. And I hope 2021 is happy, healthy, and a blessed year for us all and for all of you and your families. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I will see you right here next year, which is in just a few days. Happy New Year, happy and healthy 2021. Thank you guys so much for being here and for all of your support. I will see you all next time. Yes, us.